Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where I believe we are currently ready to deploy. So let's go ahead and hop into the command center here and see what's available. Hopefully a somewhat complicated Comstar mission. Actually, yeah, there are some halfway decent ones here. There is a battle in the jungle with a Lance of Pirate battle max, and actually I'm leaning towards doing this one. It's the most pay available for any Comstar mission. And yeah, let's do it. That is 315. Uh, we're fairly we're fairly stable right now in terms of our finances. I think we'll go ahead and accept this. And then we will bring this as our as our lance. Yep, this seems fine. Absolutely. Well, let's do it. A battle in the jungle. It's only a one skull difficulty. Hopefully, we'll get some halfway decent salvage out of it. That would be a very very good thing because we need to start upgrading our battle value so that we can start going up against tougher enemies. There is no doubt about that one. So we will load this up and I think we're against local government? I didn't even check though, in all honesty. Oh, wasn't it pirate? I think it was pirate organization that we were against. Let's double check that. So we need to destroy enemy units. Alliance of Pirate Battle Max has been rampaging in Comstar territory on outreach. They've been raising population centers, burning fields and refineries, looting storage facilities. They're clearly doing everything they can think of to drive our people out. This is terrorism, pure and simple. We need you to find them and destroy them. No escape and no prisoners. Not much to say, Commander. Shoot to kill. Command okay, so this is an uh, interesting location. Over here? Sure. We do have allies. That's fine. Can we land up over this way? Ah, uh, we can't get across that river. This is going to be... Ooh, we can get across the river. It's going to be complicated, though, for sure. They're up here. Which means that we might want to land over here? And make our way up this embankment here. I don't like this exact position. Maybe there. Is this a shadow or a deeper water? That's a shadow. Okay, we're good. Let's confirm that. Okay, so we're going to make our way up this embankment here, and we know that they are up here. Our allies are down over this way. They're not going to be of much use to us. That's okay. So our stiletto is going to sprint up this way and see if we can see anything. We can't. We're going to move up with our Vulcan as well, and Roger our Centurion, that. and Save our Scimitar order, can only get up to here, which is a little bit awkward, but it's going to... The Scimitar is going to have a hard time moving around in here. There's, I think, no doubt about that. I definitely hear tanks moving. Ah, okay. So we see a Jenner, we see a... we don't know. We see a Commando, and we see an Urban Mech. This guy, we... Oh, it's a wasp. That is really, really non-threatening. Okay. So we're going to sprint the Centurion up to here. Quick it. Do we want to fire on any of these? I mean, our hit are probably hot garbage, right? 27 on that urban mech. That's actually acceptable. Confirm. Yeah, decent armor shred. Okay, the Vulcan is going to get LOS on this Wasp. Can we get up into cover and have direct LOS? Yes, we can. Roger and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to fire on this Wasp with 50% hit odds on the Ultra AC-5. That was some pretty good hits. We'll take it. Yes, Commander. The Stiletto is going to make its way up. I feel like the Irby is the biggest threat here, right? Yeah, I really feel like the Irby is the bigger threat. We could position here. Acknowledged. What are our hit odds on that RB? Really quite good. We would have to tear in through this side arc rather than the rear arc. I think I'm just going to fire the SRM and the bolt-on. The bolt-on I rocket, not the rocket 20s. Okay, we'll take it. Yes, boss. Next up, the scimitar is going to make its way as up here as it can, which isn't particularly up here. It's struggling with this terrain. And we're going to use standard LRMs, 24.3% on the Irby. And that looks good to me. We'll go ahead and fire that. 
yeah, a little bit of armor shred there. Let's see, this is going to be the Jenner, that's fine. The Jenner fires on the Stiletto and does 10 points of damage, but that's acceptable. Absolutely acceptable. Standing by. Our Blackjack is going to make his way up to here. Going full and we're going to fire probably on that Irby as well. Yeah, it's got to be on the Irby. Only 9.2%, but we'll take some armor shred. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, phase 13. That is the Wasp here, and then they still haven't moved the Irby. That was some pretty good SRM hits there. Okay, the Galleon moves up. Doesn't do anything. We don't expect anything from our friends, to be sure. Small pulse laser. What is that an AC-20 on that Irby? It might be. I mean, Irbys can wield an AC-20. Well, whatever it is, it's out of ammo or jammed. So, that's okay. Oh, that is... an absurd amount of damage coming out of that commando. It just destroyed the entire ready. half of the stiletto there. It was wielding rockets. Okay. We had no idea. Commander. We're going to move up with the Scimitar. I mean, that is the Commando's damage largely irrelevant at this point, though. But that Stiletto is going to do... It's going to take a lot. Like, it's in substantial danger here. Roger. We'll do what we can to that Commando, but it's really... We don't Roger have help. much of a response to this. We can move up with the Vulcan to here. And we can fire on the Commando or on the Wasp. I think the Wasp is our better option here. This is Rear Arc. The Wasp hasn't moved yet, so if we kill the Wasp here, then it won't get to attack the Stiletto. Everything I've got. That was a lot of damage, and we did take out take its Periphery Rifle. Cobra moves up, but doesn't do anything. Go. The Blackjack will position here. The Jenner hasn't moved yet. And it looks like the hit odds are best on the commando. Roger. I was definitely I not I expecting all good. of those rockets out of the commando. That is for sure. So the stiletto is in substantial danger right now. The wasp moves up and melee attacks the Vulcan. That is... I'm very glad for this. Very, very glad for this. I'm here. The Centurion is going to step up here. And I feel All like right. we have to go for the Jenner. The odds aren't great. We could go for the rear arc attack on the Wasp, though. The X6 rear arc. Let's do it. Taking the shot. Okay. The Wasp is down. We like may end up losing the stiletto here. It's better me than Lady Arana. Because this is super dangerous. Especially with those mines going out. Not much armor left in that location. Okay, Irby, what you got? Friendly battle mech. Honestly, now. that ejection is worth it. I was I was legit thinking about ejecting him there anyway. So I'm not upset about that ejection at all. The, the pilot made the right choice there. Absolutely. The commando just took a bunch of landmine damage. Okay. And now that the stiletto is out of danger, yeah, we have to replace the, the head, but that's a whole lot better than replacing the CT. So yeah, the pilot absolutely made the right call there. We're going to position over here with the scimitar. Moving to position. And the scimitar is going to hit the commando's rear arc. Roger. Okay, good damage there. Reporting. Critical hit. The galleon moves up, does not fire. Waiting for the centurion is going to come in over here and... We could go for rear arc on the commando. I don't think it's actually worth it. I think we're going to do this. We missed the melee attack, which made me very, very sad, actually. 
Well, we did a bunch of damage to the commando there with our weapons, but we would have killed it if we had hit the melee. Oh, well. It's fine. So the Jenner moves up, fires on the Centurion. We don't care. It's fine. Damage minimal. And next up, Orders. our Vulcan. It is going to have to move through the mines to do this. But we can get into the rear arc over here and kick this Irby in its rear arc. And that's what we're going to do. Confirmed. To hell with the weapon. That's nice. A leg destruction. That was a critical hit, lad. We didn't break the rear armor on the Irby, but that's okay. We did get the knockdown on it. Not bad there. Cobra moves up, does not fire. Receiving you. The Blackjack is going to move up perhaps over here. Aye, aye. Like this. And let's look at these hit odds. 69.1. We're actually better off going for the Irby here. And I'd kind of like to go for the leg. Confirm. It's a torso destruction. Okay. I think I hit something good. That was a UAC 10 there. Okay. It, it never hit with it. The Irby gets up. And it's just going to fire at small pulse lasers. Like, we don't care. That is extremely irrelevant. Okay. Sure. Absolutely. Got my attention. Our Vulcan is going to attack it straight up again here. Boop. And that's a pilot ejection. Okay. We'll take it. Go time. Battle mech down. So the remaining two mechs here are really not very I'm threatening. We're going to use the Centurion to once again kick the Commando, and this should be a kill. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's pretty overkill, in all honesty. Target but it's down. all good. And next up, yes, our Scimitar cool. is going to move into the rear arc of this Jenner. This is actually a good position that. here. Light him up. Structure exposure. Score the critical hit. Unfortunately, I believe our rocket pack on the stiletto was destroyed. So we are going to have to refit the stiletto, but that's not the end of the world. Reporting minimal damage. Failed shutdown override. Okay, that poor Jenner. It's so dead. Waiting for orders. Like, legit, the blackjack doesn't have to move at all here. It's just dead. Firing all weapons. There we go. So we're going to definitely have to overhaul that stiletto. The rockets on that Target commando shot. definitely caught me off guard. Had I known that that variant of commando had that many rockets on it, that it was basically the same build as our stiletto, I probably would have played that a little bit differently. In fact, I definitely would have, especially if I had known that that AC-10 only had one round of ammo. I certainly would have played that very differently with that knowledge. However, we don't have that knowledge, or we didn't have that knowledge, so that is completely okay. I like the ER small laser. This is a rocket 15 as opposed to a rocket 20. We'll still take it, I think. Anything else in here? Ferrofibrous armor? I mean, we've got four of it. Couple of SRM6s? Sure. Okay, we did get the small pulse laser. That's good. Basic cockpits, get out of here. FCS primitive, no thanks. These jump jets, huh, we've got plenty. These basic sensors, nope, we've got it. Standard fusion engine, no thanks. SRM ammo, uh, we'll keep that for now. So yeah, I don't know how profitable this is actually going to end up being because of the stiletto situation. We'll see. And we also might end up changing the armament on the stiletto. I mean, it seems like we were mostly weapon-bound previously. I, I do want to see what our weight limitations are going to be. We may change it to have, like, I mean, ideally would be quad SRM6s, but I don't think it can fit that in terms of tonnage. That would be an ideal situation. Well, technically the ideal situation would be quad streak SRM6s. Yeah, go ahead and do that gang, but I'm actually going to cancel it on the stiletto and we'll manually repair this because 
this is going to need some work, and we know that it's going to cost a lot, but we were actually profitable from that mission. So that's good. We'll go ahead and repair everything here. We did indeed lose the Rocket 20 and the half ton of SRM ammo. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop this half ton of SRM ammo, this Rocket 20, max out that armor, and we have three tons to work with here. That's really not very much. I didn't expect much, to be completely frank. SRM-6s are three tons, so we could theoretically put another SRM-6 on this, or we have a total of one energy hardpoint. We could put a medium pulse laser on this. I mean, that is a definite downgrade from the Rocket 20, right? At least in that initial burst damage. We could put the other Rocket 20 over here and have this be literally the same thing. And I think for now, that's what I'm going to do. We'll go ahead and do that. That'll take 23 days. Sure. We'll have that be our top priority. And that'll actually be done before the next financial report, but we don't need to wait on the stiletto. So we're going to tick forward here just a little bit. Centurion is now complete. The Vulcan is now complete. And I think we're going to wait for additional mech warriors here. We're not going to wait for boot camp. Happy Crusade, Death Crusade. Happy Crusade? Okay, sure. Happy Crusade, Death Crusade. <laughs> I'm going to take forward one more day for that third mech bay. There we go. And then we'll get another engineering upgrade started here immediately. I would love to grab this Junkyard Leopard. That would be a very, very beneficial thing for us. We can't really afford that right now. We're going to go for training modules. They're nice and cheap, right, and we will save right up away. for hopefully being able to grab this next. Let's go ahead and go through some training here, and I think I am going to deploy another mission this episode. No training other than wildfire here. Okay. And what else do we have? Take off your shoes. Make yourself comfortable. Operation Terrific Dolphin sounds good. 315, yes, we'll do this. And I think we'll bring the fire starter here. Death Crusade, do you drive the fire starter? Actually, he does. So that is wonderful. We'll go ahead and deploy this. Now, to be clear, the fire starter, not as good as the stiletto. At least with that initial shot. However, it fills much the same role. And it should be completely okay. I mean, ultimately, I do want to replace the stiletto with something else, but it, it'll it be fine. It'll be fine for now. So what are we up against here? What's the op for? I don't actually know. I probably should check that. But we need to disrupt the pirate reconnaissance mission. Well, that tells us, for weeks now, pirate forces have been scouting territory near Comstar-controlled land. Previous surveys of this land show nothing of interest, yet... They are. Whatever it is that they found, we don't want them to have it. Go in there and destroy them. Commander, this could be a wild goose chase. Of course, if there's nothing to find, they haven't wasted the time of their own mechs. Indeed. Command so in we go. Initiated. And we are going to have allies. And where are the enemies? They are... Up here? In this rough terrain. Okay. Okay. This is a good landing point over here. We can take up position in this cover. I like it. Let's land over here. I see a lot of green out of my cockpit. I see an internal combustion engine. Oh, I could get used to a place like this. Okay, so our fire starter is going to cruise on forward here and see if we can find any enemies. Indeed we do. We're going to head up with our Blackjack and our Vulcan and our Centurion and our Scimitar is going to head forward as much as it can. The Scimitar isn't great in this terrain, though. Okay, what is this guy? Crosscut? Yep, that's an ICE then. And a Jenner and a Jenner and a Mongoose. Commander. Okay. We're going to come in as close as we can with the fire starter here. And we are going to heat up this mongoose. Okay, we're going to miss almost everything on 80% hit odds. Exciting. I see how it is. It's going to be one of those missions. 
I half expected him to get a double headshot there. <laughs> okay. The, the allied wasp is going to move up. I don't expect much out of our allies at all. The enemy jetter moves up, fires on the fire starter. It does get a lot of hits in there. We're okay for now, though. How can I help? Our Vulcan is going to step up to, I think, here. On my way. We can fire on the crosscut. We have 69% hit odds, 28, and decent on the mongoose, but I think we're going to hit that crosscut before it gets to move. Target confirmed. That's two hits. Very nice. Commander? Our Centurion is going to step up and do the same thing. We're going to go for the crosscut. We're out of range of the ultralight rotary rifle, unfortunately, but we'll light him up with the LRM. I was hoping for a full leg destruction out of that one, I'm not going to lie, but that's not bad. The Blackjack will step up and will finish the job on that leg, I'm sure. Yep, that's a legged crosscut. Fantastic. That guy doesn't have much left, that's for sure. Yes, Our scimitar is going to move up as close as it can here, Moving and this is the best we've got. And we're going to fire our standard LRMs at that crosscut. Just because he's the most vulnerable target available. Our ally moves up, doesn't do anything, the crosscut stands up. Sure. That's what we expect. But it's also a very vulnerable crosscut. It fires on the fire starter, and actually it almost does more damage to their mech than it does to ours. Sure. Order. Our fire starter is going to walk in behind the mongoose and go for a kick, but we're not going to fire the flamers this time, I think. Actually, we're going to not fire the medium lasers this time. No, it is the flamers that are generating most of the heat. Okay, we'll just go in and kick him in the rear arc. Moving to position. That's a good hit. Ooh. Yeah, that was very solid. I like it. I okay, the Vulcan back. is going to move up over into here, this little side arc area. I like it a lot. We can go for the mongoose, or we can go for the crosscut, and I think we go for the mongoose here. Oh, that's some nice crits. I didn't expect to kill out of that, but that is very solid. The Jenner moves up. It might overheat itself here if it fires. It did not. Okay, we're going to move up ourselves with our Centurion, and we're going to frontline with that, and we're going to light up that crosscut as much as we can. I'm going to actually fire the Ultralight Rotary Rifle in X6 mode. Yeah, it's only 21% 20 hit odds, but we'll take it. We did miss all of those. Sad. How's it going? Our scimitar is going to close in as much as absolutely possible. And we are going to hit that crosscut again. And that's a dead crosscut. Fantastic. Hunter moves up, does not fire. So this is going to be their other Jenner. And it will fire. Jenners are very prone to overheating, though. This one's not going to this round, to be to be fair. But if it does that again, it'll overheat. We're going to move up a tiny amount with our blackjack, or are we just going to stay put? 28% compared to a projected 28%. We'll move up. Position confirmed. Okay, we'll fire this. We can't fire the bombast laser next turn, but that's okay. That's a hit with the bombast laser. And that's a dead Jenner. Enemy down. Wow, we just one-shot that Jenner. Okay, we'll take that. I'm here. Our Centurion is going to advance to here. All right. And we're going to light up this Jenner. Still in X6 mode. Roger. Okay, not bad. Commander. The fire starter is going to close in over here. On the move. And we're just going move to speed. fire on this guy with a single medium laser. This medium laser. Target. And otherwise, think he... That's a good armor reduction, though. Talk to me. The Vulcan is going to move up to here, where we have an unobstructed aye, aye. LOS. We can't fire the Ultra AC-5 because it's Locked jammed, but we'll fire the medium laser and miss. All three pulse lasers miss, actually. 
bad. Okay. The scimitar is going to position. Actually, switch this. Switch this to dead fire. I want to be exactly here. Yes, I'm there. Okay, do what you can, which probably isn't going to be much. Eh, decent armor shred. We'll take it. Wasp moves up, does not do anything. And the Jenner is going to fire on our Centurion. That's going to overheat it. I think that was only two lasers, though, so maybe fail the shutdown override. That's a dead Jenner. Okay. Receiving you. Now, our Blackjack doesn't have direct LOS here, but it would if we moved here. Do we accept this heat generation? I think we don't. We just fire the missiles. Yeah, this, this gender is dead no matter what. Critical hit, Commander. Okay. How can I help? The Vulcan is... It does have partial LOS where it's at. Can it have full LOS? Eh, I don't think we need it. We'll just fire with the medium pulse laser. Confirmed. Okay, couple of hits there. Let's do this. And an ejection. Okay, all good. Mission successful. Well, that was a very simple mission. No commando blindsiding us with a side arc quadruple rocket 15 attack this time. <laughs> that was rough. That was very rough, but... It ended up being completely okay. The fire starter took a little bit of armor damage. It won't take us very long at all to get that fixed up. We could get a Jenner. We might as well. Actually, you know what? Look at all these parts. We're probably going to roulette that. Ooh, a bolt-on mortar five. Yeah, we'll take that. Six medium lasers. That's very useful. Energy accuracy FCS. And also AC2 accuracy. I want both of those. Hopefully we roulette the AC2 one. We do have a bunch of AC2s in stock. We did. Great. That was wonderful, Ben. We'll keep the chainsaw. Engine core 245, we will keep. The SCSs, we will keep. The heat sinks. We got them for free. We might as well keep them. Primitive sensor, no thanks. SHS cooling, no thanks. So we're going to be getting pretty close to that 2,500 C or 25. Wow. 2.5 million is the number I'm looking for. We're going to be getting pretty close to that 2.5 million C bill mark that we need to get our second leopard. That said, we want to be well over that mark so that we have some uh, spare money left over. So that's definitely something we want to consider. We want to probably have like somewhere around 3 million or even 3.5 3 million, somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That's absolutely fine, Yang. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we are going to deploy again this month. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes,